All right, so um, this is um, the third burst and a total of five rounds in this clip of uh, my AK-47, figuratively speaking. And we got more rounds coming after that. So I want to share with you all a, um, a, a story and this is just one out of a few different stories I have to share but um, I've always been afraid of going to LA because of how violent it seemed um, just judging by what I've seen on TV you know, and um, there's a scripture in the Bible that says, if you consider the poor, God will protect you in, in times of trouble. And uh, so after, after I donated a few hundred dollars to some different people on GoFundMe.com, that was, that was when I was in uh, Flagstaff, Arizona. I went from there and uh, took a, checked, into a, check, checked into a psych ward in Phoenix. I rode a three hour long, um, three hour long ambulance ride from Flagstaff, Arizona. Oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, a town just east of there. I, I, I rode a town just east of Flagstaff, three hours south uh, in a uh, ambulance to Phoenix. And um, when I checked out of that psych ward that I was in in Phoenix, um, I was sitting on the sidewalk and I noticed this little white feather. It caught it caught my eye from the from the sky. It, it was falling down, and it landed to my right. And so so then I was like, okay, well I heard on I, I heard that a sign that your guardian angels are watching over you is if you're walking, say down the sidewalk, and you and you walk past a white feather. So then I was like, okay, well, my guardian angels, I know must be watching over me. So why not finally go to the city of angels? And so um, I think that there must be some kind of acting spirit in LA because uh, you all know that movie, The 40 Year Old Virgin. And when Andy was getting his hair, his, his uh, chest hair hot waxed. And, and then after it happened, he looked like a human jack-o'-lantern in so many words. Well, one time I was in the downtown area of, of um, LA and um, They were giving out brand new hospital scrub pants, a nice brand new dress shirt, and a nice brand new uh, dress coat that looked like a, that looked like a suit coat. I, th I think it was an actual suit coat. And they gave out they gave me about uh, two, three, four, five different cheap razors. I went back to near my campsite in Westchester Park, which is by LAX. And, and by the way, I could, I could see and hear airplanes coming into LAX and uh, flying out of LAX around the clock. I flew into LAX for, from uh, Phoenix before that. But uh, when I was in LA at the time, and I had to, I was all dressed up with those cl clothes I was giving to me. Um, I start I start 
removing my trying trying to remove my, my hair too and I start on the sides and go and go uh, all the way around the side the sides and then I, and then I shave the top of my head and then um it was like the next day or so I'm wearing all those clothes that, that were given to me and um I'm riding on my um my my double XL size trek bike it cost me almost my entire disability check roughly about seven hundred and seventy six dollars after taxes I get I, I received about eight hundred and three dollars a month of disability money back then and so I'm I, I'm in the downtown uh, of uh, LA and I look at I look into the reflective um it's like a mirror window and I'm like dude what the heck I look like a clown because because of, of the top of my head and, and the sides of my head were all shaved like a clown plus I had like a suit on a, 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 I'm, I'm sorry uh, a, a coat that, that a clown would uh, wear I, I think I think that that's how what they would wear um, but anyways um when I was in when I was riding my bike um, along one of those I guess they call it a boardwalk the, the boardwalk there's a there's a Santa Monica Venice there's a Santa Monica path that, that goes along the Santa, Santa Monica Santa Monica Beach through Venice Beach around Marina del Rey um, then it goes through Manhattan Beach and either Her Hermosa and then Redondo Beach or Redondo and then uh, Hermosa Beach after that and these people kept on stalking me at, 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 at nighttime they were stalking me during the daytime too but at nighttime these people it seemed acted like they were about to just blindly cross my path without even without even looking because see when I spent almost my whole free check disability check on that double XL size brand new trek bike um I had I had just enough money left over to buy a really cheap bike lock for like 10 bucks and then I, I didn't have enough money to buy a, a headlamp and so one time and and like I said before there must be some kind of acting spirit in, in, in LA because I usually haven't really ever I don't, I don't I don't recall really ever wrecking my bike and until I got I got to LA and I've been traveling about 20 19 about, about roughly 19 years uh, at, at uh, up to that point LA was one of the last remaining places in the US that I've yet to have gone to until then and um, man I kid you not dude I must have wiped out three different times on, on on my bikes I I bought a junkie bike before that uh, brand new uh, trick bike and um, I wrecked uh, on uh, either that one twice and then my uh, trick bike once or I wrecked um, yeah I, I think that's how it went down and then uh, it, it was the fourth fourth time I wrecked my trick bike which we'll get to that point here in a second so um now um at nighttime when i was riding from i think it was manhattan um by by manhattan beach trying to catch the uh, one of the last uh trains uh from uh, santa monica to downtown la to get some food from that uh fridge that's open like 24 7 because it's because it's outside um I'm going around I'm, I'm going um, east I, I, I'm on I'm on the uh, southern part of, of Marina del Rey going east and and I hear this uh, this uh, engine and, and it's not a car engine it's not a motorcycle engine I look and, and it's a um, 
it's a mini bike and I didn't think much of it and um hey what's up don't mind me I'm just making YouTube videos um what's up dog you think this is a game dog um so anyways um So I noticed this lady on her bicycle. She she's ahead of this other dude on his mini bike. Now that dude on his mini bike knew that I didn't expect him to be riding such a more heavy duty mode of transportation besides like a, besides like a car or a tank or something. But he, he did not expect me to still be willing to slam right into his bleep, bleep, bleep. And that's exactly what I did. Because cause what happened was that lady stopped ahead of me to my, uh, ahead of me to my left. He stopped ahead of me to my right. And they had plenty of uh, space and time to, pa to cross my path. But they just stopped in my path. And I was thinking to myself, Dude, we already wiped out like three times on, on, on our bicycles before. I bet you anything in the world, if I sail into this dude's mini bike like a heat seeking missile, I would not even get knocked out and I would live to tell the story like I am now. And so that's exactly what I, what I did. And this, this bike, from what I understand, the only difference between this one and one of those $2,000 to $2,500 bicycles is the aerodynamics of the handlebars and the gear ratio and that thing can already uh cruise and ours already going at a high rate decent high rate of speed and as soon as i noticed them stopped ahead of me i i must have cranked over the crank one two three four more times and um i sailed into that dude's mini bike like a heat just exactly like just like that like a heat seeking missile with the sweetest style and, and grace just like one of those uh, planes hit one of those towers as it flipped a U-turn in the sky it hit that bleep bleep at, at a perfect 45 degree angle and as soon as I nailed that dude's mini bike it, 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 it got washed out from under me as if I got sprayed uh, as if I got sprayed uh, with, a, with a water cannon if, if, that, if that articulates it um, figures really or literally speaking whatever and um, if I would have been going slower I probably would have just flipped up in the air and fucking landed on my head or something or flipping landed on my head or something and um, but being the fact that I went so fast I hit that dude straight on and um, I went like straight forward and my hands broke broke the fall and in the front of my face smashed the, smashed the pavement and I was all bleeding profusely and um, so long story short I, I totaled my trek bike but I still totaled that dude's mini bike and it was all worth it and I think that God must have called me to get justice on, on that dude for stalking the homeless in, in LA but anyways um, it's starting to rain now I'm gonna get back to the shelter and upload these videos and I'll fire off the, the uh, fifth uh, round in this uh, clip and this uh, Infobor tomorrow. Bye for now. I gotta take a break and rest. Have me a cigarette. Smoke me a cigarette and go back to sleep. Till the next episode. Bye for now.